Hello and welcome back to AC's Make and Repair. Well today I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on how to make these little turned wooden spatulas. This is just made out of clear pine, so it's non-toxic. Oh, in my country is non-toxic, you use it on utensils. And I've made four pretty well matching. Um, you'll see a photo of them later. And I've made an odd one with a rounded corner to get in the corner of the sauce and etc. They're a good little gift idea. So I'll show you how to do them today. I start by marking out the rough shape that I want. Roughly. Oversized though. I mark the handle oversized in a square. This is clear pine. It's untreated. It's straight pine. Uh, you could use some other non-toxic timber too. I'm going to roughly cut out that shape on the bandsaw oversized like I said. To the rough shape that I want. Uh, sorry about the footage here. You don't see... He fully cut them out. I cut four more of these out and uh, then I'd proceed to turn them. You'll see the rough blanks when I go to turn uh, in, a, in a minute or so. I now put them between the drive and the tailstock using the marks that I pre-marked on either, either end, roughly centre. Then I fit the rest and I start turning. I start roughing out using a small gouge and I proceed quickly to the skew. I like using the skew and um, I find it brings things back nice and true, cuts nice and clean. Uh, I only use the roughing gear to take the bulk off. I still use my fingers at the back. This minimises um, any sort of major chatter and supports the back of the thin handle. I turn the paddle part of the um, spatula down here to roughly the shape I want. And then with the skew in a minute, you'll see I finish to the shape I want uh, more neatly. And I taper this part off better with the skew. Here I'm using the skew now. It peels it nice and neat, even though it's just a rectangle at that point. As we get to this point, it starts going back to the round. I use my finger behind and on top of the skew, I apply even pressure to the front and the back of the, of the spindle, really. Uh, on the handle. It peels very nicely if you've got a sharp skew. A skew is the way to go uh, on these little things I believe. I shape the paddle of the um, spatula. I'm going to put a bead in these uh, like the original one that I showed you uh, at the start. I, uh, I do four more and I run a bead roughly halfway along the whole length of the spatula. So I just run a quick bead here, just a decorative bead. You don't need these, it's up to you. You can make them the shape you want to as you go along. It's your design. Uh, they're a quite a simple little project. Good gift idea and simple to do. I take my time to get the bead right. Uh, if you rush it, you can chatter it really quick and it can even chip it. So take your time, get that bead right. Then our aim is to turn the handle either side down to the, the base of the bead like I'm doing here now. So you want the bead to protrude up past the sides of your main handle part. Here you see me shaping the end of the handle. I'm going to put four small grooves in there. I'm going to put four small burn rings in those grooves. Then I proceed to sanding it. And that's number one done. And after I finish sanding that is. That's number one done. 
I just have to move on and cut the paddle out on the bandsaw in a bit and then sand it back. You'll see that process too. I'll just fast forward through this section now. It shows you the process of me um, turning the final few. Same process as the original one. And you'll get an idea as I go how I did them all just so they matched each other. They're all different sizes but I kept the same pattern because I wanted matching ones. There you see me marking off the paddle. I run a centre line by eye first. Then I mark roughly 5 sixteenths or 8 millimetres for the width of my paddle. This will be sanded down thinner. So you see me marking the paddle. And then I taper that off so it comes to the round part of the handle. So you see I use just an off-cutter timber to mark a rough taper off to the round part of my handle. 
I'm marking here roughly where I'm going to take, terminate that taper and then I cut them out on the bandsaw. It's entirely up to you how you design your paddle. I'm doing more of a conventional type of spatula though. I mark them all out and I'll show you how I cut them now too. Here you see me using a nice square block of wood. I hold the edge of the spatula up against that flat side of the block of wood. This makes sure and ensures that both sides of the spatula are parallel. It'd be okay if you had a flat side on the bottom of your spatula which held it square but this is what I found to be the best way to do it. You cut that side, put the other side, the cut side up against it. Then you proceed to cut the other side. Just zooming out here so you can get a better view of that. You are cutting the other side or piling it up tight against the flat of the other side. This ensures it to be nice and parallel. It takes a lot of the trouble out of sanding it to try to fix up a bad cut. Trimming off the bottom here, and this is pretty well how I did them all. Uh, cut the spatula part, the paddle part, and we'll proceed on the sanding after I've cut them all out. I sand the majority of them this old belt sander setup that I've got above my disc sander. It's probably about a 80 grit disc, uh, belt I've got on here, I think. And it's good because it tapers off uh, right at the front of the drum of the, of the uh, belt sander quite good and it blends it in. And it manages to miss the bead that I do too. I don't actually touch the bead. It does look like I'm touching the bead, but it tapers it off nice and neat. So I sand all four on here. Well, actually, I don't sand all four on here. I do one on the disc sander down below. You can use a disc sander if you want. I just find the belt sander seems to hold them more parallel and get more discrepancy on a disc sander. Here's all five spatulas. As you can see, I've made them different shapes and sizes. It took me probably about 45 to 50 minutes, roughly, to do all of these. Um, you can get quite quick at them when you do them. They're quite easy to do. Good little beginner's project. Um, you could also do wooden spoons. In a similar fashion, of course, you'd have to shape the spoon. You could possibly even make some serving forks or some other sort of kitchen utensil if you wanted to. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it was quite a simple little one to do, and I think it'd be quite a good little beginner's project too. I'm going to go on and do a scoop one day, show you how to do a scoop too.
So if you liked it, please share and like and subscribe. Bye for now. Catch you on the next one.